What's going on guys, Jeff here for Premium Aquatics and today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the Pinpoint Salinity Monitor. What's going on guys, we're back with another video and if you're new to what we're doing here, this is where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision on what is right for you, your reef tank, and your budget. And this week we're going to be taking a look at the Pinpoint Salinity Monitor, so let's jump into it. Alright folks, so we have the Pinpoint Salinity Monitor and we're going to open this guy up take a look at it and see what it is all about now this is a product that has been around for a very very long time um and one thing about products that have been around for a very long time is that they're battle tested and proven all right so that was all that was in the box we have the probe and the monitor itself it's got a little bit of a stand that's cool and then we have some salinity calibration fluid and our user's guide now it's always important to make sure that you read the user's guide prior to operation see what kind of batteries Ooh, nine volt all right so i lucked out had a nine volt battery kicking around that's definitely something that you're going to want to pay attention to because nine volt batteries aren't that common so if you are going to pick one of these up make sure you pick up some nine volt batteries to go along with it all right so we have the probe and it's important to make sure that the probe you know has time to get to the same temperature using the shot glass uh, we used up about half of the calibration fluid depending on how you go about doing this uh, you're going to get at least two calibrations from this one bottle this stuff isn't that expensive either it's pretty pretty inexpensive we're going to turn it on and let it do its thing for a little bit and it's measuring 52.5 so our calibration fluid which is what it's sitting in should be at 53.0 which is going to give us the 1.026 specific gravity so this is still kind of moving around a little bit so we're going to give it a couple more minutes just to hit that perfect temperature and then we're going to go in the back and adjust this to the 53.0 it has a reading currently of 53.1. What this is measuring is the conductivity of the solution. Uh, so we are going to have to dial it back a little bit. And I've, I think it's been about four minutes that's been sitting in that solution now. So it should be ballpark as to where it should be. You don't want to be too quick to make adjustments because you're a uh, salinity monitor is not going to be accurate at that point. All you need to do is remove the battery compartment, pull that off to the side. Now there's two screws that you can see just barely in the blue there. Uh, the one closest to the center is the one that you adjust to make your monitor calibrated. Uh, the one furthest to the outside is the four screw. Do not adjust that. That was set by the folks at the factory and it doesn't need to be adjusted at any point so what i'm going to do is make a very small slight turn all right so we have the pinpoint salinity monitor calibrated it's been in the solution for a good five to ten minutes and we are holding at 53.0 now what this is measuring is conductivity of the solution and we need to convert that on our chart to get our salinity reading so the calibration fluid is designed to be at 53.0 and that equals 1.026 specific gravity and 35 parts per thousand salinity so if you had different readings let's say if you had 47.7 you're mixing salt water and you use your monitor put the probe in there you'd want to give it some time to adjust to the temperature and you're reading at 44.8 that means you're only at 29 parts per thousand salinity and 1.0214 specific gravity and that's how you would use this device so is once you have it calibrated it's as easy as turning it on putting the probe in the water that you're measuring and just giving it a couple minutes to reach the appropriate temperature and then you get your reading so pretty easy to set up uh, it's definitely important to make sure that you have some calibration fluid on hand because it's important to ever so often to calibrate these probes so you're going to get 
the accurate reading that you're looking for. Uh, this is just another way that you can have a little bit of redundancy in measuring your salinity in your tank water or even your salt water that you're mixing uh, to make sure that you know the devices that you're using to measure your salinity are on point. All right, folks, if you want to take a look at the Pinpoint Salinity Monitor, there is a link down in the description below, which will bring you to Premium Aquatics, where you can do some more research or even pick one up for yourself. That's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. I'll see you next time right here with a brand new video.